Hey guys, how's it going? This is Nat Nader, and welcome back to Dreamfall The Longest Journey. We're carrying on right from last time at this cutscene again, so let's do it. I've um, slept, read, slept some more. I've never been this tired in my life. No wonder. You've been around the world and through the ringer. It's a miracle you're still standing. I know. I keep surprising even myself. So, any news? Definitely. We started receiving information from the worm. It's just a trickle, but enough to work on. And? Not good. I don't know what's happening yet, but it appears DreamNet is expanding onto the wire at an alarming rate. Also, the virus, if that's what it is, is increasing its grip on the Dream Core. Another week and Wadi might not be in the driver's seat any longer. Can't they just shut it down? Maybe, but they won't do that now. They'd have to shut down the entire project, and if they wait, the window of opportunity is shrinking. What else have you found out? I've begun searching through the data coming into Dreamcore, around the time the static started happening. With any luck, I might be able to get some coordinates. Coordinates to what? To where the intrusion originated. To who's behind it. If I can get that location, we might be able to stop the attack at the source. But it'll take another few days to download all that data. In the meantime, we'll just have to wait. No. No, we can't just sit around and twiddle our thumbs. We need to do something. Okay. What did you have in mind? I should go back in. Back in? Hey, no. That's not an option. It is an option. You have a dreamer, right? And that drug... Uh... Morpheus. Look, it's not safe. Pete's... He, he might find you. He won't. He told me so himself. He couldn't get inside me. That's what frustrated him so much. My dreams were closed off to him. If I go back inside, I might be able to speak with that girl again. The one Pete's is so afraid of. And maybe she can help me get back to... To that place. To Arcadia? I know you don't believe me. I don't even know if I believe it myself, but... It's not that I don't believe you, Zoe. It's just that I know how powerful the dreamer is. It can make anything seem real. It wasn't a dream. I don't know what it was, but I was there. Somewhere else. Another world. And I need to go back. It's too dangerous. Look... Charlie said I never left the fringe the first time I hooked up. I'll be right here. You can pull me out if anything happens. It could be the whole thing was just a dream. In that case, there's nothing to lose. And if it wasn't a dream, there's everything to be gained. Maybe April knows what's going on now. Maybe she's willing to help me. Maybe... Damien, please. It's the only lead we have right now. I don't want to sit here and wait... I want to do something. I want to stop Watty Corp. I know. I, I just wish that I, I didn't have to sit here and, and watch you hook up to that thing. I know. I've enjoyed staying here, Damien. With you. Ooh. Getting to know you. You're, oh, you're <laughs> someone I might want to get to know better. Really? I, I feel the same way. It's just that... This is a strange time. I don't know where Reza is, or if he's even alive still. The world's going to hell. And now we're talking about hooking me up to a device that might send me to another world. It was your idea it's in the first a, place. a bit out of the ordinary. I can see that. So, um, I just wanted you to know that I like you. That I want to get closer to you. Just not... What about oh, Reza, though? What hey, the fuck? that's okay. I feel... Oh my god. <laughs> so you don't forget? Trust me, I won't. You're great, Zoe, and, and I... Shut up. <laughs> oh god. Wow. Well, that was... I don't know. I guess it was expected, because, I mean, they were sitting so close together all the time. Like, just having random chats. They're just like, oh yes, I need to be a foot away from you at all times. But, yeah. I don't know. 
That was, that was a bit, that was interesting. All right, let's just do this. Where are you, funny bird? There you are. Jeepers, this place has changed a lot. It used to scare the crap out of me, and now it's sort of fluffy with an edge. The Guardian's out there. I guess I should go alone. Now, I'm not arguing. Knock yourself out. I'll wait here. Unless that portal thingy starts closing, in which case it's bye-bye Guardian's realm. Hello, comfortable reality. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll be back soon. Okay. Well, see you later, friendo. Crow is the most loyal friend I have ever had. Yeah, well, you weren't too loyal to him, were you? Oh, well. No problem. Let's go over there. Holy shit, Dr. Manhattan's up there. Holy shit, it actually is Dr. Manhattan. What are you doing here? You're in the wrong game. Movie. Thing. I don't know. You're not supposed to be here, Dr. Manhattan. I don't know if anyone will get that. I'm sure some people will. So, I'm not crazy. It's from uh, Watch Watchmen, I think. Yeah. Sorry, I started thinking Watch Dogs, and I was like, wait, no, that's not right. What the hell was that sound? Oh well. Anyway, <clears throat> we're at the top. <coughs> it is Doctor Manhattan. What the fuck are you doing here, man? He's even naked too, and he's blue. It's it's the same. April. Oh my god. I'm pleased to see you. Pleased. And surprised. What a fucking creep. I'm just as surprised as you are, Gordon. <laughs> Gordon. <laughs> oh, uh, how have you been? I... don't know. This place. I'm both a part of it, and a part from it. I'm no longer who I once was, though. I remain who I once was. There is natural dichotomy to the balance. Positive and negative. Reality and dream. Being and unbeing. Sounds confusing. I don't envy your role. You're standing in the middle of a very busy intersection. I don't know any other way to be anymore. I... remember. But my memories feel like they belong to someone else. So, April. You have come to me with questions. I didn't know where else to turn. Something's going on with the Twin Worlds, and I need to know what you know. You're right. Something touches the balance between the Twin Worlds. Dreams. Threads that weave through the Divide. But the balance remains undisturbed. Dreams have always passed between the world of Stark and the world of Arcadia. That is how the worlds stay connected. How magic and science remain inextricably tied to each other. The laws of nature, of the universe, are stronger than the artifice of the Divide. So it's not something dangerous? I don't know, April. There are forces far stronger than the balance at play here. Dreams make up the fabric of Cosmos. Yet my responsibility lies solely with the channeling of energies between Stark and Arcadia, between science and magic. And you don't know anything about these dreams? I know this. Your role in these events has come to an end. You are not the one who will set things right this time. I'm not. Who will? That's not for me to see. Your fate has always been tied to the balance, April. I see where our paths intersect. I can't see into the dreaming. The dreaming? What's that? The place where everything begins. You, me, this realm, the twin worlds, time, matter, cosmos, everything. It all begins in the dreaming. You're being obtuse. You know I hate it when people are being <laughs> obtuse. I'm sorry. I don't know any more than that. But you don't have to carry the burden on your shoulders this time around, April. You're free. Go live your life. Let the past go. That's easy for you to say. There's meaning to your existence. Me? I wasn't who I thought I was. I honestly have no idea who I am anymore. 
Everyone kept telling me I was important, that I was needed. Then one day I... wasn't. I was just lost. So don't tell me I'm free. Don't tell me to go live my life. You don't know. You have a purpose. We all do, April. You just haven't found yours yet. But this isn't it. Let it go. Okay. Done. I'm officially letting this one go. There's nothing more you can tell me? Only what I sense. Dreams are passing from Stark to Arcadia. But not the other way around. A slow trickle that may grow to a torrent. But this does not concern the balance. And so, it does not concern me. I guess that's good news. Thank you. By the way, I like what you've done with the place. Thank you. Safe journeys, April. Okay, well, <clears throat> thanks, uh... Thanks, Dr. Manhattan. That was a very interesting conversation. I didn't really follow much of it. Honestly, you talk in many riddles and and uh, obtuse language, as, as April pointed out earlier. And well, um, yeah, I honestly have no idea what's going on other than the fact that I'm not part of it anymore. So, thank you and toodaloo. I'm going across the branch again. It's probably not that safe. Can't really see down. The controls don't let you look too far up or down. I wonder if, um, Crow is waiting for me. Still there, buddy? Yep, he's there. Come on, Crow. Let's go. So, did you find what you were looking for? I did. Good. I love happy endings. Ah, another adventure complete. Well played, partner. Time to go back and gorge ourselves on Rose de Gipa and I'm Ice in. Ale. Hell yeah. <laughs> Let's do it. You drink Ice Ale? I thought you didn't like alcohol. I've acquired a taste for it. And I like being drunk and not having to take responsibility for my <laughs> actions. That's always a plus. Alright. Okay. We'll leave you to your, uh, to your own thoughts. In your, uh, own space. was a rather sinister camera pan and then fade to black. I wonder if he was telling the truth. Don't worry about the drug. It won't harm you. It's a mild sedative and hallucinogenic. It'll help you sleep and dream. I'm not a big fan of drugs. Me neither. But for the time being, the dreamer requires it. We're working... I mean, we were working on it. <laughs> this won't hurt at all. It's just chloroform. He's just gonna rape her now. Oh, Jesus. I feel drowsy already. Hold on, I'll get the dreamer. <clears throat> I'm so... sleepy. I know. You'll be fast asleep in less than a minute. Damien? Yeah, Zoe? Don't... leave me. I won't. I'll be right here no, when you come won't. back. What did you... say? He's not gonna be there. They played that too much. Her asking him all the time to stay. And the fact that they got together, he's gonna be either dead or in some kind of peril when we get back. Oh my. Oh my. What the hell is that? So, oh, we were here before, weren't we? This place yeah, we were here before. Again, I need to find the girl. Jesus, do I have to go there? That looks creepy. This actually looks like something out of a horror game. Other than the fact that we're in some like icy wonderland in our sleepwear. This damn creep house. Oh. 
And there's the grudge girl. You! I found her. I found April Ryan, but... You must save her! I don't know... Who are you? What are you? You must save her, Zoe. Please! But I don't know what to do. She's fine. She doesn't need to be saved. Say. Find April Ryan. Save her! Wait. What? Just hop, hop, just hop. It's not that far. Ah, oh, there you go. That happened last time, didn't it? She did the exact same thing. Well, I guess that house is just for aesthetics. You don't really get to go into it. I don't really get the point of it. It's just kind of creepy for no reason. Convergence. Oh, here we go. Ooh, actually, Convergence, I like that. That means uh, the three paths are going to converge, are they? <coughs> we've got the Terminator here. Then we've got Raven and... Oh, boy. Oh, boy, here we go. Right into the damn action. Just give me your words, I just fucking Zardy. cut you open. I just cut you open. What the hell? <laughs> For every one of us you strike down, another No, they won't. Lives. Because I am the Terminator. Every time you knock me down, I will just fucking come back to life. And I'll be even more gross than last time. And then they'll give me, like, three sequels. Your goddess can't right, help bitch. you here. Bring it on. Ow, shit. Yeah, that's right. You're far from your holy I don't know why it's lagging so much, but I'm still beating him through it. Yeah, you missed. Oh shit, I missed too. Don't think it ends oh, I think with it this. will. It's gonna end with me slicing you open. It's like, I've cut you like five times now. You should be dead. That should have lobbed your arm off. Oh well. You're definitely dead now, friendo. Oh, is this a scorpion? Please, no, don't hurt me, please. Answer my questions, and I might spare your life. I'll tell you anything you want. Just don't hurt me. Okay. Tell me about the scorpion. No, tell me about the rebels. Tell me everything you know about the rebels. I'm just an honest businessman. I don't know anything about... Your life is hanging by a very <laughs> thin thread. All right, all right. So I've had some dealings with certain people, but it's just business. Herbs, roots, potions, medicines, that's all. No weapons. Do you know how to get in touch with these customers of yours? If I tell you, they'll have me killed for sure. These are not the kind of people you mess around with. Neither oh, will I. <laughs> if you refuse to cooperate, you I'll string you up and put a knife to I your belly you until either you spill your guts or your guts spill to the ground. Look, look, I have no quarrel with you or your people. I'll tell you anything you want. Anything at all. Oh, here we go. Apostle, there's a message for you. What? They've caught a rebel witch. She was using magic and she resisted arrest. They've got her locked up in Friar's Keep. Where is that? On the east side of the city. I can escort you, Apostle. No, I will find it. I should go immediately. Maybe this witch has had dealings with the Scorpion. Take care of this one, soldier. He has valuable information that he's very generously agreed to share with us. Bring him to the tower and wait for me. Sir! Okay. Good job, sir. Let me just rub up against you for a minute. Ooh, I am the Terminator. I'm fucking stuck. I'm... Are you serious? I'm fucking stuck. <sighs> For crying out loud, this... This can't be real. This... He will escort the traitor. Get the fuck out will, of the... Oh my god, I was being an idiot. Prison and now to I'm paying the, the price they because captured. I am stuck in the fucking corner. <sighs> fuck. Fuck. When is the last time the game saved? 
Well, guys, it's been 20 minutes, <laughs> so I'm going to end this episode here. Um, <laughs> and, well, I guess uh, hopefully we'll have things sorted in the next episode. So I, uh, <clears throat> I hope that you're enjoying the series, and, well, I'll see you guys in the next piece of shit that I uploaded. So stay tuned for more.